Hey, good morning guys. We're here in snowy Laramie, Wyoming. I think it's about 25 degrees and the snow's coming down pretty good. I have a new system here. This is our Rocket Char Batch 40 that I want to show you. I think we've already done a quick video that kind of gives you guys an overview of the machine, but this one's really designed for material that won't flow through augers. That's long and stringy, things like corn stalks, hemp stalks, or today we're going to be running some sawmill waste. Uh, it would also work well for like coconut shells, grasses, reeds, maybe they have some moisture in them you can dry in this as well. It's based off our rocket chart technology, it runs really, really clean. We're able to control the temperature either in this chamber or in the main burn chamber so that we don't overheat things. It's all stainless construction, it's really built to last. And we're really, really excited about this one. We think this has a lot of different applications around the world. So the first step in our startup here is we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on our pyrolysis chamber. This is our lid, and then we have a ring that we have to put on here. Now we are locked into position. We're going to go and pick up our draft inducer, so we're going to get a little bit of smoke in this room. So it goes, we're going to go ahead and light the fire. And it's really that simple. So now we're going to go ahead and close the door here and let this thing go. So we have our fire just started. The fire is just getting going here. So now we're going to go ahead and start the uh, PID controller here. So we're going to go ahead and select start, standard, got our set points ready, immediate start. So we can see T1, we're at about 165 degrees. That's in the back of this. That's gonna be raising up really, really quickly. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and raise this set temperature up to 1500 degrees. All right, so we've been running for a few minutes now. As you can see inside here, the stove's running really nice and hot. Yeah, gonna be really, really clean outside, no smoke. So we go over here to our controller, we'll kind of see where we're at. So it looks like we're at about 750 degrees there in that lower uh, chamber. Go to this next one. So. We should start seeing some heat moving into our upper chamber next. As you can see, the upper chamber is still at 31 degrees. Bottom chamber is almost 800. So we'll check back in in a few minutes and we'll see if this uh, upper chamber starts to build some heat. We've been running for about an hour and 45 minutes now. So we're at 1356 in the main burn chamber. We're up to 301 uh, at the bottom of this main burn chamber. So we're actually probably going to go over the top. These rocket stoves are really, really neat how they run. But we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of wood. And we should start getting off gas and go pretty quick for the actual gas from this material is starting to blow into the chamber. We have let this thing cool off overnight and we're going to open this up and see, uh, see our, the biochar that we made. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, everything in here now has turned into biochar. really interesting it's always cool when you get to look in here and see how the pieces have all changed but that's how easy it is to make biochar with the rocket char batch 40. Um, this one has temperature control for the upper and the lower burn chamber you can adjust that um, all stainless steel construction as you can see nothing changed shape here everything really held up well under the heat anyhow if you want more information on these please uh, contact us around at high plains biochar or hbbiochar.com